Welcome and bienvenue all aboard to Brockville, Ontario. Hi everyone, we're back. It's Frank and Fern with Javawaka World. So like Willie Nelson says, we're on the road again. Today's uh, visit is going to be to uh, Brockville, Ontario, the city of Brockville, which is just east of Kingston and Toronto, and is part of the district of the Thousand Islands. So we're going to head down there. It's nice weather today. You can take advantage of this. We're mid-September. Weather can start being iffy before you know it. So we're going to go down there, grab our Java, and uh, see what Brockville has to offer. So please join us and... Uh, Come walk with us. Yeah. You'll, next time you'll see us, we'll be in Brockville.
Here we are by the, the railway, tunnel, railway tunnel here in uh, Brockville. It's known as Canada's first railway, railway tunnel. <laughs> talk, <laughs> about a, talk about a tongue twister. So we're going to head in. They want you to put your masks on, so hence the little, uh, little thing hanging here right now. So we're going to walk through that and see what uh, she actually looks like. So uh, stick with us. Stay with us. Hi guys, my name is Justin. I'm a mobile Brockville tourism ambassador here representing the uh, Brockville Railway Tunnel. Canada's first railway tunnel, it was built between 1854 and 1860. It's over 160 years old now and took them six years to make it. Essentially at one point all along this waterfront area it was all indri uh, industries and manufacturing. Uh, There's a little port that was down there at the south end of the city right along the St. Lawrence River. Main reason for the tunnel itself was that when they were uh, trying to get goods from Ottawa down here to the St. Lawrence River, there was a little lumber yard at the south end of Ottawa. They wanted to be able to connect Ottawa down here to Brockville, um, trying to get through down through Ottawa into the St. Lawrence River, you'd have to go all the way through the Rideau Canal system into Quebec and then down the St. Lawrence River, which is very complicated now, let alone back in the 1860s. Um, so what they wanted to do once they got to Brockville was to avoid all the buildings that were already on top of the tunnel, as well as there's quite a bit of a hill that Brockville has in our downtown. So to avoid the buildings and to avoid the hill, they decided to just go right underneath it because tunnels were becoming more popular in old Ontario and old Quebec for their architecture. So why not use one to go right underneath the city with the railway? Um, that was the way that they kind of connected uh, Ottawa to Brockville and that it was used for its actual intended purpose for 110 years. So between 1860 and 1970, um, then was closed down once a lot of the factories in the area started to vacate. Um, and then what they did after a long period of time, 47 years, in 2017 for Canada's 150th anniversary, was they opened it up as more of a walk through museum to try and highlight some of the history that was in the area at one point. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you so much, yeah. Justin. All right. Awesome.
Masks off, breathe a little bit better, but that was something. That's the that's highlight. Amazing. That's the highlight. That is really yeah. super, super that cool. That amazing. took us at a, at a slow pace, leisurely place, you can see. Took about 15, 18, 20 minutes to walk through, but it's definitely yeah. worth it. You don't even see the time pass. Yeah. So uh, here, we already see one of the highlights of Brockville, and that's what else it has to offer. Walk with us. Surprises around every corner. have it there was Brockville actually uh, yeah this has gone to the top of my list this has been number one so far mind you there's a lot of places to see but from what we've seen so far check out our videos you see where we've hit where we've been and uh, actually this is coming up the number one for myself so yeah. you can some nice hotels uh, nice little uh, inns and that kind of stuff there's a lot of stuff to see uh, downtown historical buildings waterfront uh, that tunnel, that tunnel was amazing. That alone was worth the the drive. You ever heard that uh, story? It's worth the drive to Acton. That little tunnel's worth the drive to Brockville. Yeah, that's a train tunnel, right? The train tunnel, yeah. The first train it's tunnel really in nice. Canada. Mm -hmm. So definitely. So I'm glad you come along with us. Please stay with us. Keep keep following us. See where we end up next. Give, Give us, us a thumbs up. A like. A, a comment. Like, subscribe. If you want to see anything else, yeah. if we've missed something, if you have comments, uh, maybe there is something that we didn't cover here in Brockville uh, that you'd like to see. Yeah. And if you put it on the comments, other people can see it as well. And if they come into town here in Brockville, they'll be able to look for those, uh, those places. So please uh, send us your comments. So come along with us on, the, on our journey. Next time yeah, around. Be a passenger. Come along. Thanks. See you next time. Walk with us. Thank you.